Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, hope you're doing well. Um, so last time, oh, projects. Last uh, video, we um, we created the beginning of a programming language, uh, which could add integers. So uh, I've extended it a bit. I've added some uh, some comparisons, uh, more uh, arithmetic uh, and uh, booleans, things like that, and stack manipulation operands like drop and duplicate, uh, which are from fourth. What I also did was uh, make sure you could uh, read the source code uh, from a different file. So which is convenient because that means uh, you could have all kinds of tests and these tests are just, uh, for example, multiply, these tests are just programs uh, with in the comments, a uh, little bit of metadata containing uh, the expected values of the exit code, standard out and standard error. And I've written uh, a shell script which takes all these files, all these tests, compiles them, and then executes them, and then verifies the results. So that's very nice. Now we've got a functional test, which uh, obviously come in very handy when we're uh, building the, the self-hosted compiler. So uh, yeah. So today we're going to build a Hello World program. Uh, I've prepared it a bit by writing uh, the hello world in assembly. So we want the compiler to output this. So we've added a, a data segment with the hello world string and a new line, and we'll need to use a syscall to execute the right syscall, which will write the string to file descriptor one, which is standard out. So here, every value is uh, pushed onto the stack by moving it to RAX and then pushing RAX. Uh, so you first push the file descriptor, then the pointer to the string, then string length, and then the syscall number. And uh, these all get popped into the right uh, registers. Um, so if you need to know which, which syscall number is used for a syscall, you could go to this file. Uh, it contains uh, the definitions uh, of the codes. And that, yeah, that code is in, put in uh, RAX. As you can see here, it's popped into RAX. The rest of the arguments are put in these re registers uh, in this order. So what we want to do is have a syscall which figures out how many arguments there are. So we know what to put where and how many values to pop. So, but we're gonna do that later and that's uh, after we get this uh, working. So we'll just assume there are three arguments. Okay, let's build it. So first thing I think we want to do is at the syscall. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So let's add it as a keyword. Uh, so if it starts with yeah, let's put it here. Okay. So now that this creates a token, syscall is seven characters here. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have a syscall token, which is a keyword, and let's add it as a as an opcode. Syscall. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna add the number of arguments uh, as an uh, operand to the opcode. So sort of arguments um, later on. Let's, yeah, let's do that later on. Okay, so if it's a keyword and it's syscall, then use syscall. And for now, we'll put this on three. Okay, so in the code generator, we want to put a 
think so what I'm gonna do let me pull up hello.asm yeah we just have to copy that let's see um, okay LF upcode upcode syscall we want to output so first we want to pop the values so pop rex let's see like that rex rdx uh, rsi and rdi let's uh Assert the uh, upper end equals three for now. Okay, and then the syscall. Well, that's quite easy. <laughs> syscall, like that. Okay, so if we have a file, uh, fim test.a, it's just a syscall. Um, right. Oh, of course. So line two eighty eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So the syscall, we pop the values and we execute the syscall. Okay. It looks good. Um, then, and then we want to add the the data section with uh, with a string. So this will be interesting, I think. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to put it here because it's kind of similar to a comment. So when we encounter a double quotes that's the beginning of a string i'm gonna have to think about escaping but i'll just do that later on escape quotes and stuff <laughs> other uh, other things that need to be uh, escaped so let's see we want to first move over the uh, the first quote okay and now we want to uh, yeah we want to continue until the next one and then the string we build the string here string plus is program zero so in python there are obviously like way better ways to do this but uh, we want to program it in a way that's easy to port to the language we're building because we want to make it self-hosted. So this will be ugly, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, token type uh, string, let's add it. Value is string and the line number. Okay, so we need to add the token type right here okay so now there should be a token okay i think i want to check if this works get tokens for token in get because it's a generator get tokens uh, and then a string let's uh, do a couple of to tokens hi and then something like that print token exit zero so i want to see if it works okay that's interesting it's uh thinking that the the closing uh quote is also the beginning of a new one so 
we have to skip one more character. Uh, let's see, stream. Yeah. Uh, and we'll do that here. Program like this. <laughs> and we need to make sure there's actually any code left. So it shifted like this. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. So that works. Um, so we remove this. Okay. Now we have the token. Um, we've got push bool, push int, let's add a push string. Push string. Okay. Then we, uh, yeah, I think I'll put it here with the int and the bool. Token type is string. Then we want to push a string to the stack. Okay. So that's the opcode. That's quite easy. But then, because we want to add the, the, the string itself, the data of the string, the value of the string, we want to add that uh, afterwards, after all the code, to the data section. So we have to keep track of a, of a data section. I think I'm just going to call it this um, the string is false. I want to have this as a string. If to string return, I mean, this is a quick hack, but uh, a string. Okay, so now we can do uh, data equals output. Um, yeah, okay, output uh, section data. And then we want to add a new line. Okay, and we're just going to append to this string uh, and print it in the end. So like here, uh, yeah, after the exit, we do print uh, data. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see where the int push int uh, upcode is. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, we also have to keep track of the index. We're gonna label the string with an index. So here it's one. So there should be an integer string. Uh, okay, so we want to move um, the string index, maybe at this. So it will be kind of similar to this. And then uh, we can push that. I think that's, uh, yeah, you just give the label like that. Okay, cool. So, um, and then we want to add uh, So let's say we want to have, uh, okay, let's make the string label here. String label equals uh, string index. Yeah. And then this will be string label. Okay. Uh, and then uh, string label. Uh, <laughs> string label with a, uh, 
colon and then dv with the value. So the value is encapsulated by quotes. Uh, is value, yeah, it's called upper end. Okay, cool. Uh, quote again, and close it. Uh, we want to end it with a zero uh, terminator. Let's see. Okay, so I think this is good. We just want to add the, the string index. Let's start with one. Why not? Okay. Hey. <laughs> My cat is saying hi. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So string index, and we have to uh, increment it. String index plus oh. one. Okay. So if we have test dot a, and uh, we push a one onto the stack, we push a string onto the stack. So one for file descriptor, file descriptor, and the string, hello world. Obviously a string. <laughs> and then we need the string length. And the syscall number. So that's one. All right, Cisco. And Cisco. Okay, let's see. I hope this is going to work. That will be cool. So let's compile it. Uh, let's check it first. Okay. Um, so this is returning none, obviously, because we don't give it uh, 215 to string. It needs to be to string. True. Okay. So it's the same bug. <laughs> 233. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this, make this a bit more readable, legible. To string equals string. Okay. So let's see. Let's compare it. Uh, it should be the same. So this is okay. We push the int. We push a string. The label is correct. And we push 14, push one, set all the registers and have to uh, exit gracefully. All right, I think this might work. So that's an hello dot. And uh, no, first we need to write it. Hello world dot as an, as an Output to hello. Of course, six four bits. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I'm just wondering uh, if we add a Oh, it's test.a, test.a. I'm wondering if we add a new line, will that work immediately? Okay. No. Oh, because um, I did not do this step. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. And that's quite interesting. That's uh, the to do we have, um, I guess, of, uh, yeah. So I will do this right now, but 
Well, we had our first Hello World, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so I'll uh, add some uh, code to make this suitable for different uh, number of arguments. Yeah, and uh, the escaping. Okay, really cool. Uh, next time I want to implement branching functions. I, th I think branching or functions. Maybe we have to start with branching, like uh, if statements and uh, while statements. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.